Now, speaking of other kind of drinks, it's a multi-million dollar industry, but some say bottled water is a victory of expensive style over substance. But now that could all be about to change. It's Australia's liquid love affair. 750 million litres of packaged water sold last year. Most of it in bottles. That's 600 million bucks for something that costs virtually nothing from a tap. But in this warehouse office space, two worlds are about to collide. Who doesn't love free stuff? Consumers are just, yeah. they're pretty thirsty for free stuff. Quite literally, Alex Chen and Hui So have a plan to take a big swig of the bottled water market by giving the stuff away. Truthfully, it all started because we we're complaining. Every time we bought bottled water, we'd pay three or four dollars and felt ripped off, and it kind of made us angry. It's a business model that pits this bunch of Gen Yers against the big boys of beverages like Coca Cola Amatil, which owns the Mount Franklin and Pump brands. It was definitely a roller coaster for the last year that we were pursuing this, but now we're starting to see the momentum building. It is like every single week is getting better and better. Every bottle that rolls off the production line will be given away, bankrolled by the advertisers who buy space on the labels. Being environmentally conscious Gen Y upstarts, they've made their bottles from materials they say degrade a hundred times faster than regular plastic. Fantastic idea! What a you know what a what a what a great uh, entrepreneurial endeavour. Free water. These young entrepreneurs are now rolling out their product across the country. Free water, guys. After more than a year of hard work, they've just turned a small profit, but they've got much bigger goals in mind. As long as we have the consumers on our side, we'll always be appealing to advertisers. We'll always find a way to get it out to the consumers for free. So it's not really a question of who's going to let us, but rather who's going to stop us. There's, there's two things here. One is the, the business model that they're proposing, which is, which is new. The other thing is the idea of bottled water itself. And yeah. person, I, I, Nothing makes me more angry. I, mm. I grew up in a world where people weren't buying water. They used water in a tap. Yeah. I don't use bottled water. I, yeah, good on me. Go yeah. grants or whatever. Pay $6 but, um, a bottle for a bottle of water, I, I, then. I do think bottled water is a marketing invention. And I do smile at the idea that Avion is naive, spelt backwards. Mm. Uh, but <laughs> putting that aside, you can't blame it all on advertising. There's a lot of other factors that push people towards water. You know, they don't like the taste of tap water, they fear tap water. The latest one, which I thought was really interesting, is that we're a really over medicated society and it's making us thirsty. So we have this need to constantly be carrying around water with us, where we don't actually need all the water that we're told to drink. My theory is that the bubble attached, people put a stick in there sometimes and it squirts up into your eye sometimes. <laughs> That's had to be in grade six quite a few times. <laughs> and we'll be doing a full expose on peace <laughs> type childhood at the drinking bubbler tomorrow night yeah, on the I show. Can I say, just speaking of bubblers, when I was at my son's school yeah. the other day, you know it's crap how little the water comes out? No wonder they're all catching colds off each other. Carrie, I'm because it's you. like this yeah. tiny little bit comes out to save water, and so they're pretty much licking the bubbler thing. Yeah. I know that wasn't what the segment this, was about. No, but, but this, really, is, really... this is the tip of the iceberg. It is. <laughs> it really is. Tomorrow night, water, a one hour special. <laughs> is water coming to kill you? <laughs> We're going to take a break. Back in a tick.